A Louisville chemical plant with a history of leaks and big fines wants a new permit. WDRB's Brian Martin explains what it's for and why neighbors want the city to think hard before it's approved. Air Pollution Control District officials are trying to issue a construction permit for big light synthetics. Records show the permit would allow this rubber town plant to construct new equipment. It would mechanically pack and seal bags of phenolic resin powder commonly used in adhesives and coatings. This community is exposed to uh, toxic chemicals in a myriad of ways. Ebony Cochran is the leader of Reactor Rubber Town Emergency Action. I feel like the community should not bear the burden um, of being exposed to this particulate matter just because the company is not innovative enough to recapture its own, you know, emissions. The new equipment would release close to eight tons of dust, dirt, soot and smoke. Bakelite Synthetics officials were not immediately available to talk about the development. Let it be known by CNI. This chemical plant has a long track record of fines, leaks and problems. Then known as Hexion, city records show continuous violations between 2014 and 2019, totaling nearly $400,000 in fines. These multi-million and multi-billion dollar chemical facilities, I want to see them really be innovative and recapture their waste. Hexion spun off this operation in 2021, and it's been in compliance since. The city's air pollution control district has opened a public comment period, Residents have an opportunity now until May 9th to voice concerns. Community members don't have to have these exposures. In Louisville, Brian Martin, WDRB News.